Good Yontif, and welcome. It's nice to be together again at the end of our Yontif here as we consider the words Yitziat Mitzrayim, uh, that we have now spent a time in Egypt together over these last several days, and now it's time to leave Egypt and to find uh, a new headspace to emancipate ourselves from mental slavery, as it were, and to find uh, now some space in our, in our souls and in our minds for memory. And so we begin our service with words from the psalm, Psalm 16, Shiviti Adonai. Shiviti Adonai, l'neg ditamid kimimini, Ba'lemot Lachin samach libi Vayager gevodi Af besari ishkon lavetach Ki lo tahazov nafshir ishol Lo titin chasid chalirot Shachot Todini Orachayim Orachayim Sovasim Achot Et Panecha Neimot Bimi Chanetzach Shiviti Adonai Lenegdi Tamid Kimimini Though, as you can see, the majority of our clergy is literally spread all over the earth right now, those of us that are here are happy to be together with you. Please turn with me on page 30. We are young, our experience is few. We are older, veterans of life's teachings. We are married, we are single, we are Jews of many varied traditions. Having traveled many different roads, our separate journeys have led us all to this sacred place in our lives. Service continues on page 42 with the Chatzi Kaddish. Yit Kadal, ve Yit Kadash, ve Raba, ve Almadi Vrach, Hirute, ve Amif Malchute, ve Chayechon, ve Yomechon, ve Chayechol, ve Yisrael. Pagala, Pagala, O his man Kahari, the Imeru Amen, Yeshme Rab Mevorah, Yolamul Alme Alemaya, Yipara. Tabach, we are 
Hamata, Damiran, Bihalma, Vemeru, Amen. La 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 We turn to page 46 in the middle of the page. This prayer spoke to me this week, uh, which hopefully you'll see in just a moment, because this week of Pesach sort of throws us for a loop. We do things a little differently. We eat differently. Um, our, we have our seders. It, it kind of just shakes us up. And so this reading kind of just does the same thing. So let's read together. Just as the hand held before the eye can hide the tallest mountain, so the routine of everyday life can keep us from seeing the vast radiance and the secret wonders that fill the world. So it gets us out of our routine and it makes us see the beauty and the um, wonder of the world in which we live. We also understand the beauty and the wonder of bread as we go through this week. <laughs> we continue on page 50. Oh God, you traveled with our fathers as they journeyed through the wilderness. You sang with our fathers at the shores of the Red Sea. You stood with our fathers as they fought against oppression. You have brought us all here, fathers and mothers, daughters and sons, to our own promised land of freedom. As you're seated, we listen for the still small voice on page 56. <laughs> if you're lost, you feel afraid, and you don't know what to say, then listen, listen to our God. Is there a question on your mind? Is the answer hard to find? Then listen, listen to our God. Listen with all your heart and soul and with all your might. Write them and learn them and teach them well every morning and night close your eyes and listen quiet yourself there's nothing to say stop all the chatter that gets in the way and listen, listen to our God. When the wind and the thunder finally disappear, there's still a voice that you will hear if you listen, listen to our God. You can hear it from the top of the highest hill or from the valley below. It can come from the edge of the universe. It can come from within your soul. Close your eyes and 
and listen. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Hashem Kevod, Shem Kevod Malchuto Leolam Listen to our God. Listen, listen to our God. We chant together the Dea Hafta, page 57. We have to have to have Vidi Balta Bam, Beshiftecha Bevetecha, Uvlechtecha Vaderech, Uvishochbecha Uvekumecha, Ukshar Tam Leot Aliadecha, Vehayule Totafot Bein Enecha, Uchetav Tam, Almezuzot Betecha, Uvisharecha. Le mantis geru va asitem et kol mitzvotai, vitem kiroshim le lohechem. Ani Adonai lohechem, asher hotzeit yetchem meretz mitzrayim, liot lachem le lohim. Ani Adonai lohechem As we think about our seders and our, our story of freedom, we turn to the bottom of page 60, and we say together, Standing at the water's edge, the sea spray on your cheek. Close your eyes and feel within the beating of freedom's drum. Listen closely on the breeze. Do you hear the music of the ages? O oh God, you beat the drum. You are the song. You are the wonder in each of us. With joy and awe, we sing to you this song of freedom. Please read with me on page 63 at the bottom of the page as we pray for rest. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. 
your love to guard me through the night. And wake me in the morning light. We read the Khatima on the next page at the bottom of the page. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hapore Sukat Shalom Aleinu, Ve'al Kol Amo Yisrael, Ve'al Yerushalayim. Blessed are you, Adonai, whose shelter of peace is spread over us, over all your people Israel, and over Jerusalem. We rise together for the Avot V'Imahot on page 68. Adonai, sefatai tiftahu hafiya gitihilatecha, Eternal God, open my lips, that my mouth may declare your glory. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohei avoteinu v'imoteinu, Elohei Avraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sahara, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Leia, Elohei Rachel, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Ve'anora, Elion, Gomel Hasadim Tovim, Vikonei Hakol, Vizocher Haste Avot Vehimahot, Umei Vigeula, Livnei Venehem, Lemahan Shemo Be'ava, Melech Hozer Moshiach Magin, Baruch Atah Adonai, Magin Abraham, Vezrat Sarah. We continue together at the bottom of page 69. Prayer invites us to let God's presence suffuse our spirits, to let God's will prevail in our lives. Prayer cannot bring water to parched fields, nor mend a broken bridge nor rebuild a ruined city, but prayer can water an arid soul, mend a broken heart, and rebuild a weakened will. Baruch ata Adonai, mechaye hakol. Blessed are you, O God, who renews all things. Ata kadosh, v'shimcha kadosh, v'kadoshim bechol yom, yehalelu chasela, Baruch atah Adonai, ha'el ha'kadosh. As you're seated, we pray silently. May the word 
fruits of my mouth, the meditations of my heart be acceptable before you. we turn to our youth corps service, I would like to turn your attention to one of the prayers that I have to admit I wrote it, but um, it's right before the Kaddish and I had the page, oh here it is, 194. There is a saying in Hebrew, lishbor shinaim, which literally means breaking your teeth. And people say it when they have a really hard time saying something. They, they just can't feel they get the words out. And it's, it's one of my favorite um, sayings in Hebrew, and I use it, and never, no one around me knows what I'm talking about. But I, I put it in English in this prayer because that's how I know I feel when, when I say Kaddish. So um, please read this, uh, this poem with me at the top of 194. Saying Kaddish for you breaks my teeth. The words come out in shards and fragments. I want the words to carry your soul, but I still want to hold your body. So the words clash and shatter and break in my mouth. My heart is broken too, but I still say the Kaddish, putting the pieces together word by word. They will never be whole, but neither will I. And so now we do turn to our... Um, our Yisker service on page 185. Sorry, 
is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie drowned in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in straight paths for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou hast prepared a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou hast anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. As we turn to page 186, we turn to a favorite poem called Each of Us Has a Name. Each of us has a name, given by God and given by our parents. Each of us. Each of us has a name given by the mountains and given by our walls. Each of us has a name given by our sins and given by our longing. Each of us has a name given by our celebrations and given by our work. Each of us has a name given by the sea, and given by our death. The sun's going down there's fire in the sky, it kindles a flame, close the eyes, draw it into your heart, let it stay. Time slows down when angels sing and peace is found when the light of God transforms the night. We remember and keep the flame alive. Grows and flows like a river of wine. All will be safe and free under the shade of the vine. 
Under the shade of the tree, this is how we survive. We remember and keep the flame alive. There are some things you never learn until you're forced to, like knowing what is the appropriate range for your blood sugar, the frequency of floods in your neighborhood, or how to change a tire. Until you need to know the procedure or the numbers, you live in blissful ignorance and hope you never have to learn. Rainbow babies. I never knew what a rainbow baby was. After sitting around the table with our share support group, a group for those who have lost a baby from miscarriage or infant death, I learned that the baby you have after a loss is called a rainbow baby. It's a beautiful idea and a beautiful image, but I didn't quite understand why a rainbow was chosen. That is until a member of our group whose two-year-old son died suddenly posted this message on Facebook with a picture of her rainbow baby. This is what the post said. It is understood that the beauty of a rainbow does not negate the ravages of any storm. When a rainbow appears, it does not mean that the storm never happened or that we are not still dealing with its aftermath. It means that something beautiful and full of light has appeared in the midst of the darkness and the clouds. Storm clouds may still hover, but the rainbow provides a counterbalance of color, energy, and hope. I can't tell you how many times I have read that passage. I want to have it tattooed on my arm so I can read it any time I want, over and over, all day, because it's how I feel. It is my struggle, and I imagine if you are sitting here tonight, it might be your struggle too. Think about it. Sometimes when you smile, do you feel a little guilty? Do you find yourself wondering how you could be laughing when your heart still hurts? Grief is for sure a strange mixture of feelings, but unlike many other emotions, it's often one that is constant while others ebb and flow. Grief can complicate happiness and be a thief of joy. We see the rainbow and we marvel at its beauty, and at the same time, we wonder how could that be possible when the person we want to share it with is gone. You feel more comfortable in the storm and uneasy when the rainbow appears. What the story about the rainbow and the storm teaches us is that we don't have to deny the storm of our grief and the collateral damage it causes, but we also don't have to ignore or deny the rainbow either. We are allowed to smile and laugh and dance despite feeling brokenhearted. The rainbow, the joy, happiness, and quiet are the calm in the storm of grief, and we should welcome its color when we are grieving because then is when we need it the most. Grief often creates a world of black and white, but the world isn't in black and white. It's full of color, and sometimes we need to be reminded that we are allowed, encouraged even, to enjoy its beauty. Judaism, ironically, doesn't seem to agree with this notion. As a principal mourner, meaning you are the spouse, parent, child, or sibling of someone who has died, you are not allowed to dance or listen to music. And while we are told that if a simcha falls during shiva or the year of mourning, we are still supposed to go on with it, we are not supposed to fully participate. There is a part of me that kind of likes that tradition. It gives you an out, a year of saying, I'm just not up for it, without being questioned. Judaism gives you a year not to hear the music or see the rainbow or deny the storm. But when the year is up, or when simchas fall within that year, you are mandated to step back into life, to see the rainbow and not just see it, but marvel at it and remember it is a sign from God that out of destruction comes rebirth, renewal, and breathtaking beauty. Think about Passover itself. 
Out of slavery comes freedom. From the desert comes revelation. Life is full of storms and rainbows. Our challenge is to figure out how to navigate them, learn from them, and feel their power. Tonight, we are going to make a rainbow appear in our sanctuary in the form of pictures. Once a year on East Core, we show pictures of our loved ones. We hope that seeing the faces of the people that you love gives you comfort and reminds you of the beauty in the storm and the love you feel whenever you think about them with love and memory. It is a fearful thing to love what death can touch. A fearful thing to love hope, dream to be, to be, and oh, to lose. A thing for fools. This and a holy thing, a holy thing to love. For your life has lived in me, for your laugh once lifted me. For your word was a gift to me. To remember this brings a painful joy. Mm -hmm. Is a human thing, love, a holy thing to love. It is a human thing, love, a holy thing to love. It is a human thing, love, a holy thing to love. It is a human thing, love, a holy thing to love. To love. Sunset on the water makes your spirit soar, and your laughter lifts me up along the way. There's so many things I still have left 
to say If I only had the words to tell you half the things I feel You'd have understood so clearly that my love for you was real And I wish I had the courage to open up my heart You'd have known that we could never be apart <laughs> The colors of your palette Your canvas filled with greens The strokes of your emotions I see you in my dreams Now the rose has finally opened The petals fill with light The vase no longer broken The thorns are out of sight And your laughter fills me up above my tears I can hear you whisper softly in my ear If I only had the words to tell you half the things I feel You would understand the difference between illusion and what's real And you'd finally have the courage to open up your heart Cause you'd know that we could never be apart Now at last I have the words To tell you just how I feel Still don't understand the reasons And perhaps I never will But I finally found the courage to open up my heart Cause I know that we will never be apart Yes, I know that we will never be apart Yes, I know that we will never be apart. Seeing of all, all of our beloved family members on the screens is so, so heartwarming and so, um, so emotional. It just reminds me of the phrase from the Talmud that every life is a whole world. And each one of these people is a whole world to us. And, um, and they're all in our memories and in our hearts and in our souls. And so I invite you to rise now for the memorial prayer. Amen. <speaking in Hebrew> Kedoshim utorim, kezohar haraki hamazirim, lenishmot yakirenu shehalechu shehalechu leolamam. 
Baal HaRachamim. Yastirem beseiter kerafav leolamim veisror visror hachayim et nishmatam. Adonai unachalatam v'anuchu b'shalom b'shalom al mishkavam v'nomar God, full of compassion, eternal spirit of the universe, grant perfect rest under your sheltering presence to our loved ones who have entered eternity. O God of mercy, let them find refuge forever in the shadow of your wings, and let their souls be bound up in the bond of eternal life. God is their inheritance. May they rest in peace, and let us say, Amen. Please be seated. Normally at this point in the service, I say, let us turn to the task of memory, and yet the whole service has been dedicated to memory tonight. And so to the names and, and memories of our loved ones, we add those from our community and congregation who've died in the period of Shloshim, the last 30 days. We remember Gerald Agrinov, Dr. Eli Berger, David Bobby, Ali Banks de Sutter, Sharon Diskin, Laura Felder, Reva Fox, Saul Garber, Judith Ginter, Martha Glickman, Michael Goldberg, Michael Gordon, Martin Grant, Harold Greenbert, Mike Handelsman, Merle Harris, Marshall Keller, Norbert Kitai, Dorothy Kuhn, Manny Lasky, Helen Leibowitz, Phyllis Lenhoff, Marion Lupeloff, Henry Liebeck, Ray Mandelson, William Milstein, Dorothy Moskowitz, John Redfield, Marsha Ross, Beth Ruskin, Dr. William Sills, Xenia Singer, Dr. Arthur Waldman, Gloria Zatkin, and Alan Hervis. We also remember those whose yard sites fall at this time. Violet Berman, Molly Rosa Brevort, Norman Gusson, Norman Lakoff, Martin Mellon, Anna Cooper, Mark Stein, Harry Fisher, Irvin Lewis, and Lillian Lewis. May their souls be bound up in the bond of everlasting life and memory. As we turn now to the words of Kaddish found on page 199. Please rise. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shemei rabba v'alma divra chirute v'yam lich malchute v'chaye chon u'v'yom chon u'v'chaye jechol beit Yisrael v'agalau v'zman kari v'imru amen yehi shemei rabba mevorach leolam omei omaya yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit romam v'yit nase Vita dar vita la vita lal shemedikucha brichu. Le la min ko birchata vishirata. Tush birchata venechemata. Damiran biyama vimru amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya. Chayim alenu veal ko yisrael vimru amen. O se shalom bimromav. Hu ya se shalom. Aleinu ve'al ko Yisrael v'imru amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved among us. Amen. Amen. Service concludes as we join together in Ose Shalom, those concluding words of the Kaddish, page 189. Ose Shalom b'imru Uya se shalom alenu, ve al kol y 
Shalom, Yahse Shalom, Shalom Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Yahse Shalom, Yahse Shalom, Shalom Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Yahse Shalom, Yahse Shalom. Shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Yahse shalom, yahse shalom. Shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Yahse shalom, yahse shalom. Shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Sameach, could you answer?